Imagine a future when there is a cancer vaccine that not only extends the lives of patients, but also does so with virtually no side effects, allowing patients to thrive for years beyond the diagnosis with an excellent quality of life. That future might be just around the corner from today. Today, we bring you incredible news about DCVAX-L, a groundbreaking treatment for brain tumors, glioblastoma and gliomas. DCVAX-L has the potential to one day be a general, agnostic cancer treatment, usable for any kind of solid tumor. But for now, brain tumors are some of the most challenging cancers to treat. A recent article in Nature highlights phenomenal results for a variety of patients with different types of brain tumors, both newly diagnosed and recurrent. For example, in this small trial, four patients with IDH mutant, grade 3 gliomas treated with DC Vaxel and the adjuvant poly ICLC survived beyond nine years, with three of them surpassing 10 years and all four still living at the study's conclusion. But more impressively, however, when poly ICLC was added to the regimen with DC Vaxel for the treatment of newly diagnosed glioblastoma patients, those patients had a median OS, overall survival, of 52.5 months with a median PFS, progression-free survival, of 31.4 months at the study's conclusion. Recurrent glioblastoma patients had a median OS of 16.7 months and a median PFS of 8.1 months when the study ended. The results were highly significant though that side trial was not originally designed or powered to detect such results. Further, UCLA has another currently ongoing trial that includes DC Vaxel, adjuvant immune stimulant poly ICLC and Merck's Keytruda to address secondary immune responses. We look forward to interim results from that trial. But what exactly is DC Vaxel? DC Vaxel is a dendritic cell vaccine that uses the patient's own cells to create a personalized treatment. Here's how it works. First, cells are collected from the patient through a procedure called leukapheresis, which involves drawing blood and separating out the white blood cells and using a proprietary process to derive appropriately ready dendritic cells. These cells are then mixed with proteins from the patient's tumor to create the vaccine. This personalized approach helps the patient's immune system recognize and attack the cancer cells more effectively. DC Vaxel works by leveraging the body's own immune system to fight cancer. The vaccine is personalized to each patient, using their own tumor lysate to ensure that the dendritic cells can present the entire range of antigens unique to that particular individual's cancer. This personalization is unique to DC Vaxel. mRNA vaccines will be very useful, but they are customized like a mass-produced product with a given set of options. They are limited by what doctors know generally about that type of cancer at any particular time or moment and the tools they have at their disposal. Dendritic cells are not limited in that fashion. They identify all of that which doesn't belong. The DC Vax L lysate preparation process releases multiple cancer-related proteins from which immunogenic cancer-specific peptides can be processed. According to Northwest Biotherapeutics presentation, proteomics analyses of DC Vax L have shown that dendritic cells can present a vast array of peptides. In one example, 25,109 MHC class 1 associated peptides and 12,940 MHC class 2 associated peptides were identified. Among these, 4,386 MHC class 1 peptides and 7,224 MHC class 2 peptides were significantly more abundant on dendritic cells after they were pulsed with tumor lysate. Northwest Bio found that DC Vaxel preparations pick up, process, and present hundreds of tumor-specific peptides to T-cells through MHC class 1 and class 2 for a broad spectrum of immune responses. The company study indicated that DC Vaxel presents peptides from both known glioblastoma-associated tumor antigens and tumor-associated antigens TAAs, that have not been reported in glioblastoma before. Such a wide-ranging presentation of antigens would be crucial because it would allow the immune system to recognize and attack a broad range of potentially differentiated and idiosyncratic cancer cells potentially much more effectively. The presentation of MHC class 2 peptides to CD4 T cells suggests that DC Vax L is likely to generate T cell memory responses in vivo, providing long-term protection against cancer recurrence. When activated dendritic cells are reintroduced into the patient's body, they would be expected to travel to the lymph nodes and present the tumor antigens to T-cells, which are the immune system's attack cells. This is the process by which it is understood that the activated dendritic cells activate the T-cells to recognize and destroy cancer cells that express the same antigens. 
Importantly, some of such T-cells would then be expected to become memory T-cells, which would remain in the body and help prevent cancer recurrence by recognizing and attacking any returning cancer cells. One of the biggest problems in treating many cancers is not just initial elimination, but prevention of recurrence. The addition of poly-ICLC, as discussed in the Nature article, appears to significantly enhance the immune response triggered by DC-VAX-L by mimicking a pathogenic viral attack and inducing a stronger immune response. Poly-ICLC, the article indicates, acts as an immune system booster, stimulating a stronger and more sustained immune response. The research paper further indicates that the adjuvant helps the dendritic cells to better activate T-cells, resulting in a more powerful and longer-lasting attack on the cancer cells. The results of the research suggest that the combination treatment provides for remarkable long-term survival outcomes, with patients living well beyond the typical prognosis for glioblastoma. Specifically, the Nature article details how the adjuvant TLR agonist treatment induces systemic expression of type 1 and type 2 interferon downstream genes. The authors, top cancer researchers, explain how this may enhance the antigen processing and activate interferon-stimulated genes, leading to a robust immune response. The trial results, by combining DC-VAX-L with poly-ICLC, led to significant upregulation of interferon pathways, resulting in improved T-cell activation and a reduction in markers of T-cell exhaustion. These findings build on the impressive results from a global phase 3 clinical trial published in JAMA Oncology, where DC-VAX-L showed significant extensions in survival for both newly diagnosed and recurrent glioblastoma patients. For newly diagnosed patients, the median overall survival was 19.3 months compared to 16.5 months with standard treatment. Even more remarkable, at the 5-year mark, 13% of DC VAXL patients were still alive compared to only 5.7% in the control group. The results for recurrent glioblastoma were equally impressive, with patients treated with DC VAXL achieving a median overall survival of 13.2 months from relapse, nearly double the 7.8 months seen in the control group. These results translate to real hope and extended quality time for patients and their loved ones. And with patients living beyond 5 years and some many years longer, some even out beyond 20 years, without recurrence, it seems that one might even posit that this is a cure for some patients. What makes DC VAXL even more groundbreaking is the rigorous statistical methods used in the trial, ensuring the findings are robust and reliable. The researchers controlled the overall risk of false positives to just 2.5% using advanced techniques like the O'Brien-Fleming method for interim analyses and an alpha-exhaustive fallback procedure to allocate this risk across multiple endpoints. Currently, dc VAXL is pending approval in the UK, with many eagerly anticipating its application for approval in the US and Europe. If approved, this treatment could soon be accessible to countless patients who desperately need new options. What's even more remarkable is that dc VAXL, if approved, could improve the quality of life for patients. It has virtually no significant side effects and can be administered in a community setting, making it accessible and manageable for patients and their families. This means patients could receive this groundbreaking treatment without the burden of severe side effects, allowing them to maintain a better quality of life during and after treatment. The journey of DC VAXL from clinical trials to potential approval is a story of hope, innovation, and determination. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible in medicine and offering new lifelines to those battling glioblastoma. At EcoBiata, we're incredibly excited about the future of DC VAXL and the lives it could transform. Stay tuned for more updates on this revolutionary treatment and other medical breakthroughs. If you found this video inspiring, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out our other videos for more in-depth looks at the latest in medical science. Together, Let's continue to support and celebrate the advances in medical science that bring us closer to a healthier, brighter future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Note, the full articles from JAMA Oncology, November 17, 2022, and Nature, May 10, 2024, are linked in the description below. Full disclosure. No one making this video or assisting in this video's creation is a doctor. The creator of this video is an investor in Northwest Biotherapeutics, which is bringing DC VaxL to market. This is not medical advice, and DC VaxL and Poly ICLC are still both subject to approval in various markets by the relevant drug regulators and may not ever be approved anywhere. There is a commercial application submitted for approval for DC VaxL in the UK and a final decision could come at any time.
If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe.